I love what you said about how you don't give a fuck about people saying you're negative. And I, you know, even when people message me and they're like, well, can, can, can Michael smile a little bit more? Can he be a little bit more positive? I'm like, no, uh, that's not his job. Go, go see, uh, what's his name? Go, go tune into Anthony Remember? Robbins or something. Like, this is not what we're doing here. They're we're trying nonsense. to show you the problem. Right. Yeah. They are the nonsense we talked about last week. We're not interested in the content. They're not interested in the Siddhartha Road. They shouldn't be around. The first person who says that, get out. Get lost. Point Go back missed. to the world. I, yeah. We don't want, I don't want you. I don't want you around. I don't want you even hearing what I have to say. You're not invited to the party. Fuck the fuck off. You are not interested in the content. This is reserved for people who are interested in the concept, uh, con uh, the content. You know, and they're going to make use of the 30 years, knowing full well they haven't got that time. So then they would admire somebody like myself who has made that time in life to bring this forth. We are at the precipice, you know, of society socially. The Mitweld is, is imploding. And uh, the Eigenweld is in a state of depression, of, of, of cataclysmic levels. And they want you to fucking smile. I'm not fucking smiling with this stuff. I'm a very happy person. So see, when it comes to my work, my livelihood, you know, my, my message, there's very little to smile about. Our movement is riddled with communists and socialists, riddled with it. That, I'm just going to smile about that. Not to mention all the airheads out there. I see a new generation coming up that's completely feral. How the hell can you do the work I'm doing and be in the garden of weeds? If you people read my you know, Age, of, Age of Revealing article, I, I answer that as well about this deconstructive plutonic work that is involved in excavating, you know, and doing the archaeology to excavate the work of the great minds and to unseat some of the negatives, you know, uh, in the world. And it's a very vast work that needs to take place. But where it's going is further meltdown. My mentors like Blake did predict it can get even worse. Uh, and it will get to the point where it will be so bad, you know, if, if we give over to these teachers, these communitarians, and we buy into their pathology, and start, and say we do get the kind of gynocratic, Medusan culture that they want. And to get there, they have misinterpreted the Nietzsche's, misinterpreted the Hegel's, the Schelling's, right? They've misinterpreted all the great ones, like Julius Evola, like you said, they've misconstrued hierarchy, they've misconstrued monarchy. Right? Everything has been demonized. They had, to, they had to do this deconstructive critical theory work, you know, egregiously. And like I have now discovered, you know, that all of the different, uh, I try to bring this up in the mysticism article I did recently, and it will be very much the theme of the idealism series I'm, I'm doing, you know, which will be for premium members, right? It will come up again there. And that is that all of the paradigms that opposed idealism and mysticism are bankrupt. Every single one of them. So I don't care if it's uh, phenomenology, materialism, positivism, pra pragmatism, what, what, you know, all the non-idealistic, non-mystical schools and paradigms just do not live up to expectations. Many of them slowly faded when you weren't meant to be noticing it because they knew it, the high priest knew it. So they, they sort of shunted it over and, and, it, and, it, and it disappeared from sight quietly, actually. Because after following it through for many years, they realized, oh my God, we haven't done it. We are, but don't let anybody know that. But see, in rational terms, right? In, in logical, rational, scholastic terms, if a paradigm, argument, critique of a particular school or teaching fails, Right? If the critique fails, doesn't that reconstitute the thing that was under attack? But what our disingenuous media and, and education has done is even when the army has, you know, starved themselves to death outside the walls and had to retreat, they don't reestablish the very thing that they were attacking. So idealism and mysticism and other incredibly, you know, brilliant paradigms have remained off the st center stage, even though they should be restored. So my work, and I hope the work of a lot of people listening here, they have a job, a duty at hand. You can't get depressed when you have work to do. And so my work is about restoring, making sure that you restore the things that were besieged and under attack. But when the attacks failed, you're meant to know that they failed, right? And you've got to seek out the, the whistles from within the materialist side who are more generous to admit this, like the Ian McGill Christ and Michael Gazzanigas and other, you don't have to like these people, but they're actually brave enough to come out and say, you know, guys, uh, we fail. It's not neuroscience we have, it's neuromythology. And then you've got to study the Bruce Lipton's and you've got to you know, go like we do to the uh, uh, 
the, the, the Robert Sheldrake, you see, and these other great people to find out, okay, where have we been lied to, and what is the real story then of the cosmos? You know, Hans Alvin to replace, you know, uh, Einstein or whatever, right? Victor Schauberger, Walter Russell, etc. You go and you find out the alternative. So the, the work that is desired doesn't need a smile, it doesn't need anything, it doesn't need tears or smile. It's work. It's just you are out there getting your hands dirty, restoring the world, restoring knowledge. Why are you worrying with what clothes I've got on? You know, who I hang around with, what my you know, if I'm smiling or not smiling. Why are you worrying about that? You know why you're worrying about it? Because you're a fucking arsehole. Pure and fucking simple. You're not interested in anything to do with what we're talking about. You're just some fucking savage, right? Uh, fucking internet surfing asshole, a troll. You don't contribute, you don't purchase anything, you don't support anything, you're garbage. And you are therefore part of the problem that all the people we accuse, you're in that, you're in that fucking mix. In fact, you're the shithead in the way. We can't even get to the enemy because you, you fucking double Dutch motherfuckers, backstabbing, smirking assholes are in the fucking way. But see, I've never cared about you since I started this movement. If I did, I would have finished in the first year. You, you kind of people, right, who can't throw stones, they'll throw dust. Throw all the rocks you fucking want. I've withstood it. I've 30 years experience. I've gone through you all. I would have, I would have crumbled at the first hurdle because, you know, even in your own life, I think, what are you into this shit for? My God, are you kidding? Bringing up, what is it, Anunnaki? Yeah. Aliens? I, I withstood them all. I just watched them, you know, implode, and I just carried on my merry way to the next project, to the next project, knowing that there's great people out there, goodly people, itching for this. Humble people with no ego, you know, and, and no vanity, and they, they want to learn from you, and they buy your book, you know. I have first little, tiny little shopping cart, you know, which I had was pathetic, and yet orders came in, and I went and mailed my own books out, you know, in those days on my own through the post office, got none but dirty looks. You know, but those people, those customers, they believe, and our members today believe, right? And, and it will continue. We're doing very well, thank you very much. And that's, that's fantastic because this all, it all comes down to knowledge. But there's a duty involved so that you can get up and actually apply some of this knowledge now. There's a lot of practical aspects with what I'm talking about. Because now you can send your kid to a Steiner school or a Montessori or something more along those lines, right? Because you realize the damage is being done. Instead of having some foggy idea what's happening in the liberal movement and why these, they're turning out all these gender, dysphoria kids and all. No, now you really classically know what the agenda is from these Ellie Sagans and all, you know, up. You know what is going on and you know how bad it can get. But now you turn the tide in a small way, right? Even one degree you're missing the iceberg can be the difference between life and death. But moving the furniture around on the Titanic like all these other teachers and false pastors are telling you to do, that's not going to work. You've got to actually grab the wheel and, and, and that's what our work is all dedicated for, right? It's truth against the world. It's opening eyes of the world.